Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Far Cry 6 video and today let's talk about some really insanely awesome items that you should definitely use more of in the game because they are super fun, they can combine with each other to make some really awesome builds that will elevate your gameplay or just give you more opportunities to have a lot more fun by taking down enemies in cool and interesting ways. Let's begin with a few Resolver weapons, you buy these from Juan and of course you should definitely pay attention to at least a few of the examples that I will show you in this video since some of them are literally hidden gems. One of them that is quite early in the game is El Muro and I was surprised how much it changed my playstyle when using it. Reason being is because it's very unique, it's a combination between a revolver and a shield that you physically carry in one of your arms. This also means this is like by far the best damage mitigation slash absorption currently in the game, especially if you also upgrade this at a workbench to further improve that shield even more, which means you can go against a group of enemies pull up the shield and literally face tank anything because there's no damage that will be done onto you, at the very least not that I've noticed. Now obviously there are some downsides to this, if you hold up that shield your movement is going to be impaired which means enemies might be able to flank you a little bit better or even go behind you and you're still susceptible to damage coming from grenades and other explosives but there are a couple of items that I fully recommend if you're going with this and kind of transform it into a build. One of them is going to be the impact helmet mk2 that greatly improves blast defense essentially meaning that you're kind of mitigating all of that blast damage you of course need to unlock the barracks at level 3 and then buy it from the shop but they are definitely worth it and it's really inexpensive by the time you get to upgrade all of that and i would also recommend going in with the soft target vest mk2 which further improves soft target and armor piercing defense meaning that you're literally now kind of defended against any type of damage in the game almost. The next one is going to be a pretty interesting silent weapon as far as silent weapons go. It's still a Resolver weapon but it comes with a few advantages. So this is the El Susuro which is a rank 5 I believe unlock that you can get again from Juan and it's a nail gun which means it shoots nails and because it shoots nails and not bullets it's almost dead silent making it one of the best stealthy weapons in the game that you can get without spending too much resources outside of the 100 depleted uranium you need to purchase it with but otherwise it has some other advantages one of them is the fact that if you shoot targets in the head no matter if they have helmets or not if they're armored or not this will fully penetrate that almost acting like armor piercing rounds not as powerful though but still very good second of all you also get a very large magazine of 70 which can be further upgraded to 80 not that it is needed i believe the magazine size is big enough so since we were trying to avoid using any you know materials to upgrade stuff i think that you should just leave it by default and just run with it as it is because it's still very powerful you can play both as a sneaky like sniper and just snipe enemies one shot at a time or just completely impale them with a ton of nails until they drop down and don't move anymore and there's a few items in there that could work really well with this especially that really strange set that you get from the Lavarida quest line so um, especially like the chest and the leg gear the chest gives you the possibility to reduce movement noise this means you're gonna play the perfect stealthy kind of character and then there's also the pants that improves weapon damage to enemies below you I don't know to me it just sounds like a perfect combination of a really savage kind of build you're using a savage outfit with a savage way of taking down enemies by using nails against them and you're now also doing a improve damage to the body shots if you're like missing headshots and trying to rely on that instead. But let's keep on going with yet another Resolver weapon and this time around it's probably the second best I would say when it comes to just pure damage because obviously the shotgun we've covered in the previous video is probably the best right now but right behind it not too far off is the La Sorpresa that you get a little bit later in the game I believe you need about rank 9 to get this from Juan but it's a pretty interesting and very kind of like modified snipe rifle to now kind of put sticky explosive targets onto enemies. So for example if you shoot an enemy with this thing by default you instantly kill them or down them in case they are medics and 
after that, they also explode, which means they have absolutely no chance of coming back to life. Even some of those medics out there, yeah, you want to shot them, you might be thinking or they might be thinking that they are about to resurrect themselves. Well, not really, because they are about to blow up. And there's a couple of upgrades in there that make it even better that I really enjoyed about this. So going at the workbench, there's two of them that I recommend right here. One of them is going to be the short fuse, which is making the explosive fuse on it way shorter. So the explosion happens way sooner once you attach it to a target. In the second slot, you can also attach something like a cluster round to change it from a single shot to kind of like a multi-shot, which means instead of only attaching one of these explosives, and shooting only one of these bullets at the enemies or targets, you're now going to shoot several of them at the same time, which means way higher damage and way better explosions. But the best upgrade for your Supremo to take full advantage of this sniper rifle is going to be the Blast Sniper Pocket, improve the La Surpresa ammo reserve, which essentially means it's going to increase from just 10 as it is by default to 15, giving you quite a bit more in there to carry in a little bit longer and taking down a lot more targets. It's probably not going to be something that you're going to be able to spam, but like a last ditch effort, it is definitely useful. And this also brings us to the final item set on the list, or should I say build kind of, but not really because you're literally only going to be using mainly one single item to make this work. And that's going to be the really awesome prisoner's scarf that you can also unlock at the Bandito's barracks if you upgraded that all the way up to max level three. The reason is because it enables takedowns on alerted enemies from the front, essentially turning the possibility for you to one-shot everybody with your machete. So this is how it's playing out, by the way. There is a few like gameplay sequences over here that I was able to record, but it's so much fun to play with this. If you install a few mods or if you get some gear that gives you more speed as you're sliding or more speed as you're killing targets, this is going to be like the perfect build to go in and one-shot literally any target. There's other really great advantages. One of them is the fact that if you're doing a chain assassination link, it's going to kind of give you almost invulnerability to enemy damage, which means you can literally stay alive with 1% HP. Also, for some reason, since the AI in Far Cry is kind of dumb, most of the enemies when you approach them are not going to do too much, so you can literally just get them out and kill them because they are literally just sitting ducks. Now, there are still a few items that could make this build even more amazing. One such item is going to be the dark tech hoodie that you can get by simply upgrading your barracks to level 2 and it comes with a special perk called chameleon it slows down detection speed without affecting soldiers suspicion so you're essentially going in and like silently killing everybody without raising that much attention from enemies they will take a lot longer to detect you in the first place which means you can approach them way easier it's definitely super fun to play with this one so i definitely recommend playing a build just centered around the melee but this is it with the builds slash items for today totally let me know down below in the comments which one of these were your favorite and are there other types of builds or items that i didn't cover in this video as always a thumbs up on the video would be super appreciated also subscribe if you really liked it and i will see you guys in the next one